So we are focusing on some lovey stories this week. And uh, right now we want to open up the lines to you at 713-390-KRBE. Mm-hmm. Tell us how you knew your mate was the one. And, you know, we come in, we made a joke earlier, like, it's the worst when you know before the other person knows. And then you're like, is, it, is this person ever going to know I'm the one? No, it's, 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 it's the worst if you know it and then they and don't they know, don't it, know for it four years or, or something. Or they're like, you know, you're just not synced up on timeline. Is it ever like a, a situation where it's like you don't really have that one moment? You just... You know, you just kind of slide into it, and then all of a sudden, one day, you realize, oh my God, I really but I always feel really like there is something, That's though. me. But come I, on, Sam, if you really thought about it, there's going to be something that he did. Was there a trigger moment, or no. did it just gradually happen, and you realize, Like, my wife just I took me to my colonoscopy. We were and just that's dating. when you realized yeah. you loved her. And, because... and when I got my mole taken off, uh-huh. she was in that room. She helped me book the, the guy to take the mole. Did they put you under for that? For the mole, no, but for colonoscopy they did. But oh, she yes. drove me, and that, that's a lot of work to do how, that. How many months were you all dating when that happened? Um, Like, not even a year, but we were on and off. Mm-hmm. So there was a trigger moment that's where you're like, but wow, that's what I do. I this realized is a loving person. This she, is she, the one. Because especially as you get older, you want somebody that's going to help you take care of you, right? Right. Yeah. Each other. In sickness and in she health. was doing that from day one. All that stuff. Um, so, you know, everybody has like a different thing. And when I saw her boobs, too. Oh, stop. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Britt, you're up. Hi, Britt. Look Welcome to the Rule Nine Show. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good hey, morning. good morning. Uh, so are you... First, give us your background. Are you married? How many years are you married with this person that you knew was the one? So we're getting married in October. Nice. Um, we're not married yet. Okay. When did you know this person was the one? So it was the first time he ever put fuzzy socks on my feet because I was cold. He just like kind of slipped them on and I just had that moment of, oh my gosh, this is the person I'm going to... This is the person I want to put fuzzy socks on my feet for the rest of my life. Like, oh, I love the fuzzy socks. Where's your drop, Ryan? It was oh, the fuzzy socks. Oh, that? <laughs> you weren't even, like, sick oh. and he took them on himself. It was just you were cold and he went and got the socks and put them on you. He just went off and got some fuzzy socks and then just put them on me. And it was just immediate from there. I mean, he said I love you after the first day of dating. And I was wow. like, whoa, hold on, bud. So three weeks later, he got the socks and I'm like, yep, I'm done. Let's go. Well, how long ago was that? How long ago was that, Britt? Um, that was about four years ago. Yeah, you, guys? you knew that he just really cared about you. Yeah. The fuzzy you always have cold feet in Houston. It's always hot here. Yeah, but the inside is so cold. <laughs> Eric, I swear every woman has cold feet. And they all say, oh, warm me up, babe. And they put their freezing Ooh. feet on you. That's pretty nice because guys don't usually like feet. For him to actually put them oh, on your oh, feet. That's, no. Is he a feet guy? Well, we don't even know. I promise. Okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody listening is, and they're loving this conversation. Yep. Uh, Britt, thank you so much for calling the show. You have a great Thursday. Now we are going to Gabby next, asking, "How did you know your person was the one?" The one. At seven one three three nine zero KRVE. Hi, Gabby. Hi. How are y'all? Great. Awesome. Morning. So the person you're about to tell us about, I'm assuming y'all are married, or y'all are about to get married, or just long time together. How long have y'all been together? So we've been together, it'll be 10 years in April, and we got married two years ago. Nice. Okay, okay. so that's a long time to be together before you got married. At what point did you think, yeah. oh my God, this is the guy I want to spend my life with? So you know? we we started dating our senior year of high school, so that's why it was like 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, but there was, in about three years into the relationship, it was during Mardi Gras in Louisiana, which if y'all have ever experienced it, yes. you cannot get anywhere. Like, right. You're Roadblocks. Nowhere. There's everything yeah. packed up crazy for crowds. Uh-huh. Bubble to exactly. Elbow. So, I was struggling babysitting these kids. They were an absolute nightmare, and I had mentioned that I was really, really craving fried chicken from, like, this place in town. And it took him three hours to get there and bring it to us, but he surprised me by bringing me and the kids um, chicken for what was supposed to be lunch, but ended up being <laughs> like dinner. dinner at like three o'clock. In the <laughs> yeah. wow. Were they your kids, Gabby? Or no, you she were said just he babysitting. No, 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 no. Some kids, babysitting. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, That's yeah. right. So you but knew he, when he took three hours to get chicken, you were craving that he's the one. That's that pretty he nice. Because yeah, he went into the storm, basically. You're driving into that huge yes. crowd and trying to get something and bring it back three hours. That's dedication. How good is it? What's the name of this chicken place? Must yeah. be some uh, dang good chicken. Uh, Honestly, I don't even remember the what? name of it. Wow. It closed down not long after that. Aww. I'm from like a small town in Louisiana. Like, mm-hmm. it, it was crazy. And he hates Papa's. body gras. So like just the fact that like he went out to do this, I was like, yeah. 
oh, yeah, I'm going to marry you. And then about four years later is when he actually proposed. Oh, wow. So, so wait, is yeah. that like one of those things where you knew, but he didn't know yet? Like, you're yep. like, come on, when are you going to do this? Mm. Like, 100%. When, okay, oh, yeah, so yeah, when like, did he tell you? Like, when, from your opinion, did he know you were the one? How much longer after um, you figured it out? Long time? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Still waiting. I'm like thinking about it. Uh, he fine. put a lot of thought into the proposal, so mm. I'm assuming probably around like year six or so is whenever he was like, "Yeah, okay, we we can get married, we can do this." Wait, um, he always loved you. I'm wait, sure, one more question, Gabby. Sam and I said this yeah. earlier in the week. A lot of girls who've been proposed to, like you, remember the whole thing, but you don't remember the actual words the man right. is telling you because the white noise comes in, and you're like, "Oh my god, it's happening!" It's Focused on the do ring. you remember, Gabby, what your husband said to you when he proposed? I actually do because so the reason my husband and I got together is we started dating because he asked me to prom and okay, he did it with like young, this young. cute little yeah so he did it with like this cute little whiteboard and um like so whenever he proposal? asked me to marry him uh -huh. yeah so for the real proposal he did it the same way that he asked me to prom with like this little whiteboard oh, that's um, oh, that's like cute. a prom proposal cool. yeah. proposal that's cute. Yeah, basically. So he like kind of turned it around, and so like after I like saw the whiteboard, I turned around, and he was like on his knee, and he's like, "Will you marry me?" And that was basically it. Oh, God. that's sweet. And I'm glad you yeah. waited too. Like you, that way, you had all of yeah college as well. Last year, of high school mm -hmm, mm -hmm. time to live life. Because so many people when they get right out of high live, school, live, and love. They, yeah, live, laugh, love. It. Wine, wine o'clock, <laughs> wine o'clock, wine Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. No, but so many people when they get you know their high school sweethearts, and they meet like we got to get married, got to get, got to, got to do it. You know, well, you're together for like seven cool. years. Like I was with, well, we're like, hey, we've been together like since we we're 16. Mm -hmm. But you're only 23. Yeah, we're like, uh, but you yeah. feel like that's when it's I guess time now. This long, we're adults now. This is what we're married. supposed to do. Uh, Sam, much like you, I don't have like a moment like that where fuzzy socks went on, or you know, like Toss and I actually have talked about this before. Like, because he asked me one time, when did you know? It was like this feeling that I just had because you know, Toss was living in Dallas and he would drive down to see me on these dates. And I remember I was at my house after the show when one Friday when he was coming down and I remember opening the door for him and we were sitting on the couch and at some point it was just like I remember exactly what I was wearing even like I remember what I was wearing I remember you know the, so vivid the memory I remember just thinking to myself oh my god like this is what people are talking about like this is what parents can only wish for their children to happen it's happening like Aww. this is the one Aww. like he's it <sighs> uh, and I remember like getting teary eyed and, and he was like what's wrong and I just said I mean, I just think this is, this is how, this is what the thing you hear about all the time. Like, this is what, like, what you wish for your kids, that they find a good person like this. And, like, they're, I, I can't say it was, like, one thing he did. It was just, right. like, It'll up to it. Yeah. Cumulative. Yeah. 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 You know, good. Me and my bright man. But there's man, to be something that 12 makes years. it. To make <laughs> right. you like that. Something happened that day. Yeah, it was so crazy, because I can't, I can't tell you which number you date that was. He probably knows which number yeah. date that was. Was it fifth date? Eighth date? What, when did you realize they weren't the one? <laughs> but <they're> just, <laughs> that is hard. We're about ready to find out with roses that in just a few minutes. Yeah, this guy. <laughs>